Okay, now we're going to talk about electric bill components. These are the things you'll find on most electric bills throughout the world. And basically, there's three main categories. There is the customer account fee, there are demand charges typically, and there are also energy charges. And we're going to hit each one of these individually. So let's start off with the customer or account fee. Often, this is a fixed fee that is on your bill every single month. It doesn't matter how much you use or if you don't use hardly any, they still charge you this. This also can be called a meter charge. The next two items you'll find on most electric bills are listed here. Demand charges and energy charges. Now these are different because energy is pretty obvious. It is the amount of energy, uh, the total um, number of kilowatt hours you use over a month's period of time. Okay. Now demand is more like a flow rate. It's more like how much energy are you using per second? And they typically average this, you know, they're measuring this every second, they average it over 15 minutes, and whatever your maximum average flow rate during a 15 minute period, the utility remembers that. Another way to think of these two things is via like an analogy with water. Electricity flows a lot like water, okay? Now if you were to fill up a swimming pool, whether you filled it up with a garden hose or a 25 inch pipe, the volume of the water in the pool would be the same. But if you use the 20 inch pipe, you would have a lot greater flow, you would need more pumps and the pipes are expensive, and it would cost you more money to fill up the pool versus just a simple garden hose. It would take a lot less time than a garden hose though, so there's some advantages there. So in going back to electricity, demand is the flow of electricity. And it's more like a rate, we also call it power, it's energy per unit time. And so the greater the flow you have, the more the utility is going to charge you. Now energy, the kilowatt hour side of this, is more like the volume as we'd mentioned before. Let's take two scenarios. I've drawn one on the top of the screen and one on the bottom. In the top example, let's say we have a 100 watt light bulb and let's say we have actually 10 of those. Uh, so we'd have 200 watts if we turned on two of them, etc. And let's say we turn on 10 of these lights and run them for one hour. Okay, so we turn them on for one hour, we have basically 1,000 watts, 10 times 100, and we run that for an hour. So we would have 1,000 watts, we'd also call that a kilowatt, and we'd have it running for one hour, so we'd have this volume here would be one kilowatt hour. And our demand would be 1 kW. So we're using 1 kW of flow over one hour of time and we get one kilowatt hour of volume. Okay, now for the utility they have to supply 1 kW of flow and that's expensive for them so they're going to charge you for that. Whereas if the utility, you know, in the bottom scenario here, if you ran one light bulb 100 watts over 10 hours, you would still have 100 times 10, you would have one kilowatt hour, but the utility would only have to supply 100 watts or one-tenth of a kilowatt hour over a period of 10 hours. Now this is a much more you know consistent and stable model for the utility as opposed to the top side, the top example, if we have you know the utility having to turn on 1 kW and then turn it off in hour two, basically you know all the rest of these hours here, if you think about it it's much better for the utility to have a constant uh, load and that's why they prefer you know customers with constant loads so they will charge you if you use more demand they're going to charge you a higher fee one way or another okay now demand charges are typically composed of a couple of items one might be power factor penalties which is basically uh, some type of penalty for the power quality that your facility influences back to the grid and we'll talk about that in another section and the other one is the demand ratchet, which basically is an expression of if you use a lot of energy at one time or use a lot of power uh, and then you don't use energy, they still are going to charge you. And that's what the ratchet is about. We're going to cover that in another section, so we'll just pause on that for now. And the final component is the energy kilowatt hour charges, which is basically, again, the volume. How many kilowatt hours did you use over a month? And this also has some components, typically a fuel adjustment charge, which is basically a, a way to adjust for fluctuations in commodities like coal and oil and natural gas. When those prices go up and down, rather than the utility try to adjust on that on a monthly basis um, with a rate schedule and trying to change the you know regulated utility um, which is requires a lot of hearings and everything they just pass on these commodity price fluctuations in your bill via fuel adjustment charges sometimes they can be charges sometimes they can be credits and the second one is environmental taxes and fees 
and this is something that you'll have in many utilities it might be upwards of 15 percent uh, you might also have sales tax in here uh, so you might want to look at that because every kilowatt hour you use they're going to charge you based on that and that's true for all of these the more kilowatt hours you use the higher these charges and fees are going to be now there's one other element to demand charges it's typically something called time of use tou basically if you use a lot of power in the afternoon when air conditioning loads are high the utility is generally going to charge you more money it might be during the summer during afternoons or it could be all year during the afternoons it depends on the utility depends on the climate and the location but basically almost all utilities are watching your bill all the time and seeing when you're using power and if you use power in the afternoon you know depending it could be two o'clock to seven o'clock in the afternoon something like that they're going to charge you more for a kilowatt hour or a kilowatt used in that period versus another period and the same is true for kilowatt hours you can have something called time of use here um, some utilities don't charge demand at all but they just charge incredibly high kilowatt hour prices when you take those kilowatt hours in certain hours of the day primarily the afternoon so just to compare if you use energy at midnight you might pay one price and it might be five times more expensive to use the same amount of energy if you take it at four o'clock in the afternoon so this is the time of use component of kilowatt hours okay that's a summary of the three major components of most electric bills around the world hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you next time